Mark 11, 24 deals with a prayer that changes things or a prayer that receives things based on Scripture, based on the Word of God. And as we've been talking about this prayer, we have encouraged you to go to your Bible, find Scriptures that cover the thing or things you're praying about, the things that, the Scriptures that basically promise you whatever it is that you're needing or whatever it is you're desiring. And as you do this, you will come to a place of faith where you will know. You won't just think, you won't just hope, but you'll actually know. You will believe in your heart that God will do what he said that he would do. You go into this kind of prayer with the answer. You know it's God's will for you, and you know that you're absolutely going to receive it when you pray. And that brings us now to this very important step. Make the transaction. Once you've spent time, and it may not be that you can pray this prayer effectively in a day or two. It may take a while. You feed on the scriptures and you, you, you meditate on the word. And then you get to the place where you actually make the spiritual transaction. You ask God for this thing. You know, just sometimes whenever you, if you've ever paid a bill on the phone, uh, you'll know that many times they will speak back to you everything that you have you know, you, you desire, the, the amount of money you're going to pay and all that kind of stuff. And they'll give you the option to sometimes press one to confirm. And they'll even warn you, you know, once you do this, you can't change it and all that stuff. Uh, so that's what we're talking about here is you've already laid the groundwork. You've laid the foundation. You're in a place and position of faith. You're making your petition. You're pressing one now to confirm. This, Lord, is what I'm asking you for. And it's very important to look at Mark 11:24 if you can, there, as you're, you're watching this today or tonight or whenever it is, get your Bible out and look at Mark 11:24 and see when you receive. Because that verse says, you receive when you pray. Now this is where a lot of people get thrown off because they think, well, I'll receive it when I have it in my hand. When I see the change in the circumstance or when I get the thing I'm praying for, then I'll know I have it. That's not what this prayer is about. This prayer says, I believe I receive it when I pray. I may not have it in my hand physically. I may not feel it in my body at this moment. I might not see the change in the relationship if that's what I'm praying about at this moment. But I know I have received my answer when I prayed. Which means that from this point on, I'm not begging for it. I'm not asking God for it again because I've already asked and I received. He said yes. Through his word, he's already said yes to me. I prayed my answer. So what do I do now? I start praising him. I start rejoicing. I start magnifying the Lord. And I start praising him. I release my faith now in my praise, my confessions of faith. Now, I know there are some things when we pray for that maybe not everybody would understand how this works. They might not understand what we're believing for. So it, it's not necessarily something we might always confess to everybody. But there ought to be some times that we get just, if necessary, in our prayer closet and we just begin to thank God for the manifestation of that which we believe we received when we prayed. And as you do this and continue to release faith, you release power, you release authority, the anointing of God is released, his power is released, and God will bring his word to pass. Amen.